let us look at now the types of research. Now, let us I have made sure that there is one letter that is marked in red which is called scientific right. So, I have written there types of scientific research what does this scientific mean? Scientific actually means the temperament or the preponderance of making decisions based on data. So, as I said earlier research is completely bothered only about data oriented decisioning right. So, let us look at data as a fundamental driver for decision making therefore, any process that involves data oriented decision making is scientific as opposed to hunches right. So, let us look at types of scientific research methods from the viewpoint of three areas application, objective, type of information sought. From the point of view of application there are two types of researchers one is pure research and applied research. Pure research is usually done in research labs and in academic world. The objective of these researchers are not to commercialize immediately. It may have immediate commercial value or it may not. It may have commercial value later or may never have commercial value at all. The considerations of pure research is not commercial. On the other hand, applied research is to solve day to day problems of organization research and it is done by several great corporations in the world and take for example, many of the fortune 500 firms or the top 50 firms in India routinely and elaborately engage in research to further their business objectives. They engage as I said in research across all disciplines not just to marketing in HR, in finance, in IT, in operations, in marketing and so on. If you look at the scientific research from the point of view of objectives, there are three fundamental types of research, exploratory research, descriptive research and causal research. We will explain these three terms more in detail later on, but save as of now we have to just understand that in terms of objectives of research there can be exploratory, descriptive or causal. The descriptive research are again of two types cross sectional and longitudinal and causal research is of three types explanatory, correlation research and predictive research. We I will explain to you all these three plus these five boxes a lot more in detail in due course of time. From the point of view of type of information sought, there are two types of researchers. One is quantitative, the other is qualitative. Quantitative research as I said essentially is number oriented, but qualitative research is not as much number oriented, but you can say hey professor, but you just now told that business research is scientific and it involves only data. If it only involves data, how is it that a qualitative research which does not deal as much in numbers is research? Well, I said it is data based or data oriented, but qualitative research uses less data, but a lot of scientific method. For example, text analysis of blogs where a certain theme is extracted from various blog posts whether it is positive towards a particular brand or not positive towards a particular brand or for instance analyzing customer feedbacks to elicit a particular theme to say whether consumers are having positive feedback or a negative feedback does not involve so much of numbers, but it is still a very good research. 
it involves a lot of text analytic algorithms which looks for frequently occurring words or themes or emotions and hence it does qualify for good research and I must tell you that with the advent of social media these kind of researchers are getting more and more currency and in demand I will touch upon some of these techniques and qualitative research in this lecture too well we move on after we understood what are all the types of research to the next level the research process.